بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نحمده ونصلي على رسوله الكريم so we now moving on to we go we discussing phrases within within sentences sorry sentences within sentences the subordinate clause so we discuss those that have a half master already now we discussing those that don't have one now one that falls in between is a ism mawsul what does ism mawsul do in simple language the ism mawsul makes the entire sentence into a ma'rifa by default a sentence is nakira by default when a sentence comes within a sentence the sentence is deemed to be nakira if you add an alladhi to that sentence it becomes what ma'rifa so the ismul mawsul makes the sentence ma'rifa correct that's why the ismul mawsul sentence the ismul mawsul sentence can come anywhere where a noun or an adjective would have been are you following me it would come anywhere where a noun or an adjective would have been make sense yes Okay, for example, here look, we have Jaa alladhi talabta. Jaa alladhi talabta. So in this example, we have alladhi talabta. The sentence talabta. The alladhi makes the sentence what ma'rifa. So fail file. We break the file down into mausul and sila. Correct? Make sense? So alladhi talabta is mausul sila. Fail file. So to keep simple. Sometimes what can happen? In here, the mausul sila becomes what directly? The fa'il. Sometimes you can have what? You can have, for example, ja'a. Yeah. For example, if you have ar-rajul. It's not working for some reason. If you have ja'a ar-rajul. So ar-rajul becomes the mausuf. Then the mausul sila becomes the sifa. And the mausul sifa becomes the fa'il. If you have ar-rajul here, ja'a ar-rajul ar-rajul alladhi talabta. In this scenario, Ar-Rajul becomes the Mawsuf, Al-Ladhi Talabta, Mawsuf Sila becomes the Sifa. And Mawsuf Sifa becomes the Fa'il. Make sense? Okay? Right. Now the Turkey is quite simple. The Arab now want to understand it because what, it's a bit difficult for those different to how we have uh, understood it. Ja'a is simple. Now what happens now? Al-Ladhi Ismi Mawsul, Mabniyun ala sukun Fi Mahalli Raf Fa'il. Now what happens now? The ismul mausul itself becomes a fa'il, not mausul sila. In mustariya, an mustariya, anna law hamzat aswiya. You see, an wa ma baghdha fi ta'wil mustarin fa'il or hal or whatever, not hal but khabar or whatever, fa'il whatever. In mausul sila, the mausul on its own becomes what? Fa'il, maful, maful lahu, mubtada khabar. Correct. Any ism mausul. Alladhi alladhani alladhi alladhani alladhaini alladhina allati allatani allataini allati allai man ma any of them. Any of the ism mausul. What's ism mausul? Not mausul harfi. Mausul harfi joins the word after it to become one thing. Ism mausul itself becomes a fa'il. Or maf'ul bihi. Etc. Correct? Then after what you do, the sentence, we know the sentence. Then the jumla after it becomes a sila. So jumla to talab to, for example, yeah, talab ta is a silsil mausul. But that sentence has no arab. It's not marfu, mansub, or majroor. It's not a tabi. So you see the sila, the jumla becomes a sila, but the sila la mahalla lahu, ya la ya mahalla laha. It should be la mahalla laha in the arab. It has no mahal in the arab. It makes sense? So it's not because the sila is not a snat, it's not a badal, it's not a asbayan. It's not a ma'atuf alay, a ma'atuf. It's nothing. So the sila, mausus, the, the jumla becomes a sila. But a sila, it doesn't become mahal nasab, mahal jar, mahal rafa. It just stays la mahal la laham al arab. No, it's not arab al tabaiya, no arab al asala. Neither is it filed, neither is the sentence filed directly, neither is it tabi to the alladhi. So that's why you have to say the jumla becomes what? La mahal la laham al arab. Does that make any sense? So here, you say ja is a fail, alladhi is a fail. Talabta is a sila, but it has no maham in Arab. It's neither marfu, mansub, or majroor. Mahallan. When you do tarkeeb, we join it together, and say mausul sila become the fail. Because the meaning makes sense, what? Who? We can't say who came. That doesn't make sense, who came. Who you called, he's doing the coming. So in tarkeeb, to understand the translation, we say mausul sila become the fail. But in Arab, what do we do? 
We say the alladhi on its own, the man on its own, the ma on its own becomes what? The fa'il or the maf'ul bihi or the man or the mubtada or the khabar. And then the sila has to mention, but has la mahalla laha min al a'rab. Does that make sense? Do you understand that? Yes? Are you clear of that? And the mawsul sila itself either becomes, if you go back here, the mawsul sila either becomes a noun itself, either fa'il, maf'ul bi, etc., or it becomes a sifa of the noun before it. So if alladhi has a ma'rifa word before it, then that usually becomes a mawsul sifa. The mawsul sila becomes a sifa of the, of the mawsul. And if there's no ma'rifa word before it, it becomes a noun directly. Then we say, for example, Ja'afair al Rajul, Fa'il al Marfun, Midamma al Ladi Na'atun li Rajul. Then it becomes the Lam al Lam al Arab. Does that make sense? Are you following me? Yeah, yeah. So if, for example, we have, we have here Ja al Ladi Talabta. So before al Ladi, there's no ma'rifa word, is there? Mm. Yes. The Arab of that. So if you have Ja'a al Rajul Ladi Talabta, the Turkey, the Turkey will be Ja'a al Fal, al Rajul Mausuf, and al Ladi Talabta al Sifa. And then the Mausuf Sila becomes the Sifa, and continue as we have here. And the Arab, Ja'a becomes a Fal, al Rajul is Fail, Marfun with Dhamma, and then al Ladi is a Na'at na of the Rajul. And then the Sila, La Mahalla Laham al Arab. You don't call it a mausul, you say it's a fa'il. You can say it's a mausul, but you have to say what it is. It's a mausul, fa'ilun, or maf'ulun bihi, or majroorun. You have to label it right there and then. And the sentence after it has no mahal in the Arab. Does that make sense? Yes? Subhanallah, bihamdi, subhanakallahumma, bihamdi, kanashadu la ilaha illa anta, wa nasaqfiru, kanatubu ilayka.